All right, so today we have the Lenovo ThinkPad T15G Generation 2. So this is pretty legit. All right, so this is gonna be a beefy boy. A lot of weight in the box here. Oh, that must be the power brick. All right, well, there's definitely some weight to it. Woo! That's heavy. Obviously good padding, this guy's here. Pretty legit. In the box, we have a power brick. This guy's also a heavyweight. Here you can see 230 watts. Classic ThinkPad charger on the back. Of course, beefy three-prong plug. Set that aside for now. Standard little paperwork here. So it says P15 Gen 2 slash T15G slash Gen 2. So the P versions will have like the Xenon processor and those Quattro or A-Series graphics card, whereas the T-Series, TG, G is for, I'm a or G is for, G -G 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 or G is for graphics. So this one will have a RTX 3080 in here. Boy, it is. Woo! There's some weight to this bad boy. So there's some thickness to it. All right, so let's just take a look. On this side, we have full-size HDMI, USB-A port, a dead panel, where I think that's where a SIM card would go if you bought the one with the WWN or WWN, and of course, headphone jack. This is for my personal use. I purchased it with my own money. For many years, I had a desktop, and I've recently been on a quest to replace my desktop with a laptop. I started with the Razer Blade, and I didn't like it. Now I have the Dell XPS 9710, which I like everything except the keyboard, which led me to a ThinkPad. I've always had ThinkPads for work, and they've always been great. I never thought I would have one personally until now, and I think it's a great idea. This is a classic ThinkPad, like soft touch coating on the outside, but it's strong. Like, this thing's got, again, some heft to this thing. You could be working on your lap, typing up some documents. Someone breaks into your house, you close this guy, smack them in the head with it. They're down for the count, wipe the blood off, open it back up, you're back to work. It's very thoughtful how they have the headphone jack up front here. On my Dell XPS, the headphone jack is way back here, and that's just not as convenient to use for headphones as it is towards the front of the device. On the back, we have full-size Ethernet port, the power port, of course, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and one USB-C port. And on this side, we have a full-size USB-A and a full-size SD card reader. Now, this would be a smart card if you use it for business and need to authenticate. And of course, we have the Kensington unlock back here. I've been a businessman for many, many years. I've never used a smart card on a device. I've also never used a Kensington unlock on a device. On the bottom, we have a bunch of vents. We have this big little rail here to leave it a little, raise it up a little bit. We got plenty of vents. This is a little quick compartment. You can put some RAM and storage in here. Well, we'll go over that later. Let's take a look. Let's open this bad boy up. There's a little bit of fingerprint action, but not really. All right, so here we have this magnificent beast. And the main reason you get a ThinkPad, of course, is this glorious keyboard. I mean, obviously they're secure. They're very nice devices. For me, the reason that I drifted towards a ThinkPad is because I have a ThinkPad for work. And I very much like the keyboard for typing because I am using a laptop as a laptop. It will be a desktop replacement. When I'm at my desk, it will be docked and, you know, everything running uh, off of Thunderbolt, of course, or just directly plugged in and, you know, with a full-size monitor and a whole shebang. But there's going to be often times where I will be in different locations or either different areas of my home. And I will need to type and I wanted this glorious ThinkPad keyboard. If you have to type at all, you should know that ThinkPads are some of the best keyboards. Now, of course, that comes with a cost. You do have all this bezel. I don't particularly mind the bezel. Again, I haven't used it yet, so I don't, that may change. Of course, my Dell XPS 9710 has no bezel, so it's a drastic difference to go to all this bezel, but let's take a look again. So there's a camera up here, webcam. It's only 720p, but you can see it has a little privacy switch. You can see there's a red dot here. If you slide that switch in here, you can slide, and then now the camera is open, and when you have the red dot closed, it is closed. I do like that. The Dell XPS does not have a cover. The Razer Blade didn't have a cover. Most Lenovo products do, which I like. I'm not worried about, you know, Russian spies hacking into me and catching me in appropriate moments. I don't think so. That's how they get you. What I'm worried about is that a lot of times on meetings, if you're in a Zoom meeting or Ring Central, whenever you'll have your microphone button and camera right next to each other. And if I'm not ready to be on camera, I don't want to be on camera and you don't accidentally hit that button. You know, there's no concern here because we're here. Sometimes you go to a meeting, they're automatically on camera and I may not be camera ready. You know how that goes. All right, let's get a little closer here. This is the uh, proverbial money shot. In porno, we call this the money shot. All this is what we want, right? 
This should be speakers and some ventilation, I guess. And here's a power button here. A separate fingerprint sensor, which I really like. I like this location. I think it's a good spot for a fingerprint sensor. You can tell I have the i9B Pro. 11th gen i9-11950H processor. 2.6 gigahertz up to 5 gigahertz with turbo boost. 8 cores, 16 threads, 24 megabits cache. Windows 10 Pro, of course. The display is 15.6 inches, but it's the ultra high def, so it's a 4K screen. HDR 400 with 600 nits of brightness. We're looking forward to that. You use a laptop all the time. You know brightness is important. A lot of laptops don't have a great brightness, so I'm looking forward to that. 32 gigs of RAM, upgradable up to 128 gigabits of RAM, which is insane. Hard drive, there's one terabyte, upgradable up to six terabytes, which is also insane. Fingerprint reader, of course, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we got any juice. I don't think we will. Yeah, laptops usually gotta plug them in first. All right, so now we're plugged up. See the little light coming on here. Oh yeah, the screen does go back a full 180 degrees. I don't know why you would want that, but it does it. I do like it going back pretty far though. Like if I'm in a recliner, you can lean it back further while you're typing, which is nice. Obviously you can tell there's a matte screen here. So let's go ahead and boot them up. This will actually be my first laptop keyboard with a number pad. So we'll take some getting used to probably. Obviously all Lenovo's will have, ThinkPads will have this little red nub. I've never used that ever. I do find myself using these buttons sometimes. So I might try to use the nub because people seem to like it, but I don't have any use for it probably. So the screen does look good and it's not gonna come across in camera, of course. I got all these lights here and it's obviously through a camera, but I was worried because I'm used to the Dell XPS 9710, which has an absolutely insanely gorgeous screen. So I was worried this one wouldn't look so good, but just this, it looks pretty good. And obviously still going through the setup here. Trackpad feels good. I mean, this is standard ThinkPad stuff. If you haven't ever had ThinkPad, uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Obviously you can use these like mouse buttons. You can use the trackpad. The trackpad will also depress. Here, yeah, I will connect it to my Wi-Fi. This will be my first experience typing on here. I've never used a laptop keyboard that has the number pad on it. When I type, which is all the time, I do have a number pad on my real keyboard or my desktop keyboard and I use the number pad all the time. So, and then when I switch to typing, you know, just on a laptop, it's always a pain to go back here, right? So here will be my first shot at this. Yeah, I love it. All right, so we are connected. Again, it's just ThinkPad keyboards are just kind of a waste. Like if you've never used one, I recommend checking them out. I love them. I do like this texture. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's like a glass fiber or something. It's supposed to be stronger, of course. Uh, you can see the stickers there. This is the i9. This one says it's color calibrated by x right Pantheon, Pantone, I don't know what that is. Dolby Atmos speaker system here. So we'll check it out, of course, all that good stuff. I like the ThinkPad keyboard, of course. I like the trackpad, I like the keyboard. This will be my personal laptop. Again, I do have a small business that I run and I do like I said, a lot of work, not just in one area of my home. So that's why I want to go all ThinkPad or all laptop. And again, the Dell XPS 9710 actually has worked pretty good for that, but I just don't like typing on it. All right, so now we got to pop up on the Microsoft Authenticator. We can use face recognition. Right now I'm going to use the fingerprint. We'll test the camera later, but I want to set up the fingerprint first. So here you can see Then I do like a physical fingerprint sensor. There's a pretty drastic indent on the fingerprint guy here, right? There's a hole there where it goes down. It is a weird feeling kind of, I guess, to be in that little hole, but obviously you'll find it very easily, right? And of course you can set up a pin. So it will create a pin. And this is where the number pad really rules. And this is not a touch screen, I don't believe. So if I hit no thanks, yeah, it's not doing anything there. Which is fine by me because I never use a touch screen on a laptop. All right, so we're setting up here. Standard business, takes several minutes to set up a laptop. That's the first volume we've had out of this. <laughs> That's the wallpaper from my Dell. All right, so that is the ThinkPad wallpaper that should be on there. It's kind of ugly, I don't really like it, but that's just how it should look, right? Let's see what our battery's looking like, 52%. So let's go ahead and check some settings out. So we can make sure we have uh, Intel Core i9-11950H, 32 gigs of RAM. So that's pretty good. I am gonna rename my PC, we'll call it ThinkPad. T15G Gen 2. And I will restart it now to take that name in place. Now, like I said, I have a Dropbox and I've had it for multiple computers. I'm a Dropbox user and a Dropbox fan. I've learned when you have multiple PCs connected to Dropbox, the better the naming convention is, the better it's gonna work out for you. So there we are, fingerprint sensor works perfectly fine. We'll double check to make sure we got the correct. You go to task manager. More details, performance. They can tell that we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. All right, so now I just said, of course, let me get some time to mess with this and then I'll add some more stuff on here.
All right, I have to admit, it's one of the dumbest things I think I've ever done. I've had this thing for about two weeks at this point. I used it probably a week. You know, I've got a couple laptops here I'm checking out and I don't believe I had it set on 4K and it makes a drastic difference, obviously. Obviously. And I don't know how I missed it, uh, you know. Maybe it was there and I changed it for some reason. I don't know. Or maybe the battery settings changed it, but I know now I went to look at it. It wasn't set to 4K. I changed it and it looks drastically better. So obviously I'm a big fan of 4K, of course. I've mentioned that much multiple times. And you know, it's just a stellar picture now. Still not as good as the Dell XPS 9710, but if you're concerned about moving to a ThinkPad from a different line and you think maybe the screen's not gonna look good, I can tell you for a fact the screen on this looks great. All right, so that's the ThinkPad T15 G Gen 2, and here is my Dell XPS 9710. If you can notice there, the Dell is a 17 inch screen and the ThinkPad sits up higher, which I like. I mean, there's a lot more bezel on the ThinkPad, but I like the screen being up higher. So how about some bottom bezel action on the Dell, right? So, you know, two very different looking devices, a different functionality, and we'll go through some more. I'll check these out. This is my personal laptop. I don't like the keyboard, so I was buying this one to replace it, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so thanks for checking me out. This is the unboxing of the T15G Gen 2. We'll have some more thoughts on it later. So thanks for checking me out. Leave me any comments below for questions. Uh, like, subscribe, bell, all that shenanigans. All right, thanks.